West Alabama is full of history, and Tuscaloosa has more than its fair share of historic homes and sites. Architecture, the antebellum period, these are all topics experts will be elaborating on very soon. Lucy Murphy is here from the Tuscaloosa County Preservation Society to tell me more about it. Lucy, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Danny. Now, you guys are going to have something special, and for people who are history buffs or who are curious about the community in which they live, where we all came from, and why we have the, the streets laid out the way they are, and certain homes are here and certain other homes are over there, this will be fun. It is. It's our second year to have uh, the Sundown Lecture Series. We started it last year and we were so successful. I mean, we kept carrying in chairs every mm -hmm. week. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. And there's a lot of people that want to know, you know, where we came from, what it was like, what the streets were like, what the block, what the homes were like. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're lucky enough to have an expert in architecture come in this Thursday night for our first lecture this year. And that's Dr. Robert Malone. And he's retired a specialist in art at, from the University of Alabama and you know architecture at the university the expert mm. and that expertise has moved now into the into the Tuscaloosa area so we're really really lucky to have him he's really backed by popular demand <laughs> because the evaluations last year that we did bring him back bring him back bring right. him back so so he's back to talk on on the architecture that had a lot to do with with Tuscaloosa per se. Now whenever people think about architecture particularly in the south they tend to immediately start thinking about that antebellum style with the big columns uh, that look kind of Grecian or Roman whichever one it's going to be and the big plantation houses and stuff like that. But there's more complexity to it. Than oh that. most definitely there's just so many different kinds of architecture mm -hmm. and really until I came to the Preservation Society I thought the antebellum and right. the big columns oh yeah. yeah but there's a lot more to it than that there's a lot more styles and um, different uh, architects through the years and, and designers have put together, there's just all kinds of designs and architecture. And we have a lot of it represented, represented here in Tuscaloosa. Now, I, this is your first speaker, and you guys are gonna do these throughout the summer, I guess, heading into the fall? Second Thursday of each month. Mm -hmm. um, we're calling it our Sundown Lecture Series. Mm -hmm. um, they'll start on that second Thursday, 5.15, We'll have a little refreshment because people light, can come. Yeah, light, light refreshments. refreshments. Right. Come on over from work. You know, you don't have to go home and come back. Just stop in. We'll have some goodies for folks. And then lecture will start about 545, and it'll run for about 45 minutes. Of course, we got so involved last year, a few of them ran over, you know, but running, right. over, is, running over is good. When, when your audience is so interested that they're asking so many questions, to the Dr. Malones and the Dr. Robert Guffins of the world, it's going to be really, it's going to be a really good summer. We're looking forward to it. All right. So for first up, architecture, then Annabellum, Alabama, and then after that, you got two more. Yeah. After that, we're going to do in Genial. No, we have four. Okay. We're going uh, June through September. Mm -hmm. uh, first mm -hmm. one is architecture. Second one is genealogy 102, mm -hmm. and that's backed by popular demand. Dr. Guffin did 101 last year, and there was, wasn't any doubt we had to bring him back, mm -hmm. and then. We have um, a young man from Birmingham that's going to talk about the Civil War, and he has an awful lot of artifacts that he's going to bring with him. Mm -hmm. And then our last one is probably really going to be interesting because Dr. Matt Gage, who is the um, archaeological director at the University of Alabama who did the dig on the site where the new hotel is being built in downtown mm -hmm. Tuscaloosa, he is going to come and speak on speak on the things that they found in that archaeological dig. So, hmm. you know, we saw those tents down there for a lot of weeks. Right. So we're going to get to hear what, what, what they unearthed down there on the big square. Well, that'll be neat. Lucy, thank you so much. For thank you for having me. The next Sundown Lecture is Thursday, June 13th at the Battle Freedman House. Light refreshments will be served starting at 5.15 p.m. You can find out more online at historictuscaloosa.org.